Uh, yeah, I then, mean, our, our goal is like basically to uh, do something that uh, it, you know, to it, have, it, have it be sort of interesting, fun, and, and ultimately useful, um, and to spur uh, uh, creative ideas for what is actually the smartest way mm -hmm. to take the trillions of tons of carbon that we we've removed from the ground and will remove from the ground mm -hmm. um, from deep deep underground and 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 we've we've placed that carbon in the atmosphere and oceans um, which obviously changes the, the chemical constituency of the surface of the earth yeah um, and um, you know, now I know I, 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 sh I should sort of um, measure measure my statements in, in that um, I think I think we, the, the Earth, uh, like I don't, I don't think we're currently doomed, to be clear. There's a very <laughs> important, uh, <laughs> very importantly, um, you know, there's, there, there, there are people in all, all parts of the spectrum from, ranging from nothing to worry about, uh, CO2 is, just makes things better, to uh, <laughs> we're doomed and there's nothing we can do about it. I am somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> um, so m my concern with the CO2 is not kind of where we are today, um, or even the, you know the current uh, rate rate of carbon generation, but really, uh, if it if we if carbon generation keeps accelerating and we keep getting um, a uh, that that uh, uh, increase in the in the Keeling curve, you know the CO two parts yeah. per million in the atmosphere, and if, if 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 we keep going and if we're complacent, uh, then I think we we could th there is some risk of of um, sort of nonlinear climate change, um, so. Um, so you know, thus far we, the, the we've seen the CO two parts per million be, be fairly linear on a, on our time scale. Uh, although it looks very exponential on uh, geologic time mm -hmm. scale, um, and uh, but there, there are certain potential nonlinear events like uh, if we raise the temperature to the point where we um, melt the Siberian traps or something like that, and, and methane escapes. Yeah, yeah. There's there's just a, a massive amount of of sort of frozen dead uh, plant and animal matter um, in um, in Siberia, there's potentially trapped uh, uh, gases deep in the ocean. If, you, if the ocean warms, yeah. that could be released. So, uh, th you know, these, this is just these are just risks that are not wise to take. Um, and since we know that uh, long term, we're going to have to have renewable energy anyway, um, uh, because we'll, we'll we'll run out of oil and gas. It's not going to last forever. Um, so we know we know where this ends up. This has to end up with uh, renewable, sustainable energy um, it's tautological um, but it's really just a question of do we try to get there sooner or later um, you know and, and we just try to get there sooner it's, yeah. uh, it's obvious w why run the why run the ex how long do you want to run this experiment yeah it's, and, it's and also true that even if we stopped co2 production that's probably still not enough that we do need mechanisms for extraction of co2 from the atmosphere and the oceans that well, don't exist right now you know as I said I, I, I am people start to think I'm Sort of like, I, I, I'm kind of in the middle of the spectrum, you know. Um, I think if we stopped CO2 production today, which obviously we could not do without civilization coming to a grinding halt <laughs> um, and mass starvation and, and all sorts of terrible things happening, um, so we could not stop CO2 generation today. But I think at the you know at the sort of 400, possibly even 500 ppm level, I, I think it's pro probably okay. Um, but if uh, you know, as the, as the world industrializes and we're sort of at eight billion people, get to nine billion people, um, have a, a lot more industrial output per person. Um, you could see the you know, you know, at, at, at what what might be okay, it's sort of four or five hundred um, parts per million of CO two in the atmosphere might become quite dire at a mm. thousand. Yep. Um, and the trend is certainly in that direction if we don't do anything about it. So. Um, that, that's why I think it's just probably an unwise experiment to to run. Um, even if you think that the this is this is why I think it sh should be a compelling argument to even those who um, would uh, assign a low probability to um, increase CO two causing problems. Like mm -hmm. let's say you think it's ninety nine point nine percent likely that uh, that adding all the CO two to the ocean's atmosphere is is going to be fine. So, that you, so you're saying there's a 0.1 percent chance of disaster. Well, there's only one. We're, so right now, we're only got one planet. <laughs> well, even a 0.1 percent chance of disaster. Why run that risk? Yeah. That's crazy. So, um, so I think th th what's likely to play out is that we will continue to add a lot of 
uh, it's a lot more CO2 to the ocean's atmosphere. Um, and also, you know, ocean acidification, as you know, is also an issue. It's, you don't want to sort of add carbonic acid to the oceans and, and change the pH level because um, it destroys reefs and, and all that. So Which it's actively doing right now as yeah. we're watching. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, th yes. So this is a problem.